Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Sudoku Tudes series of puzzles. And today we're continuing with the variants, and this is a puzzle called Upgrade, oh, pardon me, um, which uses the arrow constraint. Um, of course, you'll find a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, and these will, of course, get added to a PDF set that will get released um, and to the tracking sheet when the entire set is done. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to call out. Um, Let's get on with the rules and then the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got arrows. So digits placed on an arrow. So these are the arrows. The sum of those digits must get placed in the arrow circle. They're the rules of the puzzle. That's it. I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So what we can look at is whenever you have three digits, um, or basically we can look at what are the minimum we can put on this arrow, because the minimum we could do is six and the minimum digits we could put here is one and two. And six plus one plus two is nine, which is the maximum digit we can put into the circle of an arrow. So this has to be one, two, and six in order to get to nine. And it may not look it, but this is exactly the same because the minimum we could put on those is one and two and because they see each other and therefore this is also a nine. So now we want to ask ourselves about this arrow. What is the minimum we could put on this? Well, it's also one and two. And if we add one, two to five, we get to eight, which is now the maximum we can put in this because we can't put a nine into it. So this is also a one, two leading to an eight. Um, and these arrows are deliberately designed to be upward forcing, um, hence upgrade. Um, so where do we look now? Uh, I think it's this arrow. Maybe there's some Sudoku we could do. We do know that nine is in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Um, and I don't think I want to color ones and twos. So what happens if we don't put a one on this arrow? It'd be the next question I would ask myself. If we don't put a one on this arrow, the minimum here would be two, three, and five, which sums to 10, which is not possible. So there must be a one on this arrow, but there's already a one, two pair in this column. So this can't be the one, this is the one. But these already sum to six, and the minimum here is two. So this is either one, two, five, summing to eight, or one, three, five, summing to nine, and it can't be an eight. So this is a nine, and this is a three. Now, what happens if we don't put one on this arrow? Well, again, it'd be two, three, five, and this would have to be a 10. But we've got now the issue where this has a maximum of eight, and the minimum those could be is one and two. So the, this has to be one, two, five, eight. And this is another puzzle where it's designed that everything flows fairly quickly. Um, now, the minimum we can put into these is one, two. One, two, four would make this seven. If we do, um, we could also do one, three in order to get to eight. But if we don't put a one in one of those, then the minimum here would be two, three, four. This would need to be a nine and it can't be. So we get to this state fairly quickly. Um, and I really can't remember where I go from here, but this is part of solving. Now, this is a puzzle where the constraints do put the digits in, not completely, but fairly heavily right at the beginning of the puzzle. And I was aware of that. I try not to do this too much, but anyway. So the one, two pair in this column makes this a three, and this now already sums to seven. So this has to be the one which makes this the eight. And everything is pretty much placed. We're down to pair on arrows and everything is pretty much placed by the constraints right at the beginning and now this is a sudoku puzzle this is not the sort of thing i normally try and do but it is it happens occasionally so we've got eight and eight looking in so eight is in one of those two um nine can't be in any of those can't be on its own arrow this is one two six nine can't be there so nine is down here so nine can't be in any of those this becomes an eight nine pair so we know what this triple is two five and six there's no five there there's no six there and the one two pair looks up saying this isn't the two so these are two five six I think I could take that further. I'm just not sure how. Well, I know what these two digits are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and five. The three is looking up making that the five and that the three. Uh, I haven't put a one in this box and the one here says it's not there. So that's a one. 
These are now two, six, and seven. So I know what these two digits are. They are five and nine. And the five is looking up, making that the nine and that the five. And these are three, four, and seven. And so far, this hasn't been too tricky, Sudoku. So um, it's not been like, do the constraints in a couple of minutes and then the Sudoku takes forever. This isn't a hard puzzle. At least I don't remember it being a hard puzzle. Maybe it'll get there. We can see that one has to be in here. Uh, or one, The one in here means no one's here. The one here means no one's here. And the one here means no one's here. One is in one of those two. Uh, three is in one of those two because three looking up, three looking down, and three looking across. Um, 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 five is in one of these two. In fact, what are these? These are four, five, six, and seven. So five is in one of those two. Where can I put five in this box? All of these are filled and I can't put five in either of those. Five is looking up. So that's not the five, which makes that the five, which overwrote the pencil mark locations of both a one and a three. So I can place the one and the three straight away. That's kind of cool. Um, so three and three puts three in one of those two, but that three is looking down saying not there. So that becomes the three that puts three in one of those two, but we've already got a three here. So the three goes here. Um, this column, we need two, four, and six. That can't be a two because there's a two in one of those. That can't be a two. So we've got a four, six pair, and that becomes the two, making that the five and that the six. Okay. Um, where am I looking now? That's a good question. Two is in one of those two because of the one, two pair looking across. This has been here since the beginning, but that's a one, two pair. So that's not the two, that's the two. So what are these? Is there anything forced into those? Now, yeah, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. Not that I can see. Nine, oh, this nine is looking down saying, that's not the nine, that's the nine. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, no, four, oh, the six makes that the four, which looks up making that the six. That was a blind one. These are five and eight. So these are just five and eight. And the five makes that the eight and that the five. Okay, so this is a triple. Four, six, and seven. There's no four there. So four is in one of those two, which means no four in any of those. Four is in one of those two. The one is looking down, making that the two and that the one. That's going to have roll on effects. Looking up, making that the two and that the one. The two looks up saying that's not the two. The two looks down, making that the one and that the two, which looks up making that the one and that the two. Cool. Eight is now in one of those two because of the eight looking across. I also need to put a one in this box. That one says not in those. That one says not there. This is a one. So this is five, seven, and eight. So this is five, seven, eight. I can't put eight there and I can't put five there. So this is seven, eight, or nine for the column and it can't be an eight because there's already an eight in the box. These, I must put a four in one of those two. Okay. So far, so good, I think. Three is not in any of those, but I need to put a three in this box. So that's the three, looking up, making that the four, which makes that the seven, which makes that the three. Cool. What is this triple? Two, four, six. There's twos in both of those. So those aren't the two. That's the two. And the six looks down, making that the four and that the six. The four and the six look across, making that the seven, which makes that the six, which makes that the four. The seven looks across making that the five and I can take five out of those. That's a seven, eight pair. Um, okay, need more, need more. This column doesn't have a six yet, so that's a six. This column doesn't have a seven yet, so that's a seven. And this box is now missing four and eight. And the eight is looking back, making that the four and that the eight. The four looks across saying this isn't the four. So this is the four and this is a seven or a nine to complete the box. But the nine looks across making that the seven, that the nine. The seven looks down making that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks up making that the nine and that the eight. This row does not have its six looking up saying that's not the six. 
The six looks up saying that's not the six. That's a two, seven, so that becomes the six. This column is missing two and seven, so this has to be two or seven. Not seeing how to resolve that. This column, I've got one, two, three. I don't have four or seven. So this is a four, seven pair, which means this can't be a seven or both of those would need to be a four. That's two, that's seven, that's two. Uh, the seven makes that the four and that the seven. And these are from eight, nine, and I'll use that nine to make that the eight and that the nine. And that is how you solve upgrade. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that one because while the arrows were resolved very quickly at the start it didn't then lead to it wasn't like 30 seconds of constraint followed by 15 minutes of sudoku it was two minutes of constraint it, it felt like more like 30 60 rather than 595 which is the breakdown that i find it, it happens too often in some variant puzzles i find and if i set one of those i apologize there may be one or two that I that leak into the puzzles I do, um, but I try and avoid it. If I do that, I'm, I'm going to try and just turn it into a classic Sudoku. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoy the series. And as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>